Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday afternoon. Wherever you're visiting us from, be sure to share where you're at in the world. We want to hear all the different cities so that we can give you a warm, warm welcome to today's live stream. I am so excited to have you guys here today because we are going to be having a lot of crafty fun with designing a lot of fun things. We are using one of our favorite fonts that we have not been able to showcase so much. It's one of the awesome, awesome fonts that kind of launched around Christmas. We've been so terribly busy, um, you know, really focusing on Christmas during, you know, December, November, um, that we totally forgot about it. But this is one of the fonts called Spot on the Team, and we love this one. I think it's awesome for any varsities, any, you know, basketballs uh, playing that's going on, any of your friends and family for sporting events. These are going to be so good. Yeah, these are probably my favorite for a friend or family member who I know is playing. You can wear these to rep, to cheer them yeah. on, and things like that. They so are amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, so we're really, really excited for you guys to be able to use that um you know spot on the team font again our makers gonna learn your members do get access to those completely free only your members get access to the over 300 amazing fonts that we do have available so be sure to check those out if you haven't already um, and we're just really really excited for today's project so um, we're going to be talking about in today's video something we don't talk about too often which is positioning your awesome cut files and you know vinyl on the front but also on the back of the shirt because there are so many issues and questions that we may have um regarding the back of the shirt versus the front of the shirt um and we're gonna kind of walk you guys through our favorite tips and tricks for working with heat transfer vinyl um today we also have a great little thing for um talking about paper studio i uh, the, I doubted this heat transfer vinyl for so long. Um, Becca made me um, feel some of the projects she had made with it. It's really affordable at the craft store if you're ever in a pinch. Um, we also have our awesome, awesome um, Caesar Easy Weed that we love. We get it from 651 Vinyl. You guys know they have the hookup. Um, Troy's, uh, you know, also just has out that new StarCraft vinyl. Um, so they launched that at 651. So you can go check that out. I saw him doing a little live about that new product. So it's really cool. Oh my gosh, we have someone from Redding, California. Hello, hello, hello. We love Bethel Church. Um, if you're familiar, we have so many friends tuning in, Rachel. We do. We have friends tuning in from everywhere. A lot from Texas. Okay. Hello, yeah. our Texas friends. Should we do an yeah. event in Texas? Let us know. We got um, a lot of people. Utah, Canada. I love it. Mm, California. You guys are awesome. New so York. have you been able to position awesome things on the front and back of your shirts? This is one that Rachel made for the launch, and it says Langston 21. Um, it is so much fun. And one thing that we're going to talk about with this font is that right here, if you look at the shirt, it is um, one font, but this is the difference between the uppercase and the lowercase. So it's like two font. fonts. It's like yeah. you're getting two. Yeah. So whenever me and Rachel are talking about it, we we're just like really impressed by the awesome, um, you know, ability to be able to have two totally different looks um, all in one. So again, guys, I do also want to let you all know that we do have Sin, our project manager here that pops in the comments so often. Um, we're planning lots of things for 2020. So this live is probably going to be a little bit quicker, a little bit shorter than normal. But um, today is the um, day before the last day of the sale. So it's the sale end eve. If you need to get your Pro 2, be sure to grab it um, using the coupon code PRO2020. The Pro 2 course is $20 off using that code. If you need to get both Pro 1 and 2, that's $50 off. No coupon code needed. Um, the, your membership's on discount. So if you need any of that, the Rachel's dropping those links for you. So take full advantage. We're super excited. But yes, let's go ahead and share the screen, Rachel. And we're going to show this awesome guide that you have. Oh, sorry. I'm so, oh, so sorry. I just saw it there and I was like, we'll talk about it. <laughs> I love it. So. This is something we're really, really excited. Um, and if you are mastering your projects, if you're a beginner, anything like that, you need to be sure to check out this heat transfer vinyl sizing and placement chart. This is something our team has developed and it is a printable for our year member, or excuse me, 
any member. So you can join for as low as $19.99 today and get access to all of our printables, which is right here under member resources, where it says printable guide, the collection PDF, the which vinyl should I use, the blade chart, our iOS guide, just everything. Like seriously, so many awesome, awesome, um, you know, pieces right there. So please, if you've struggled with that, you know, you can see with a youth shirt, what size we recommend and kind of gives great tips on where to place it. Yeah, so, and this is like a, a very simple one. So it, it, of course, there are kind of guidelines. So you guys can make them a little bit larger, a little bit smaller, but just to make them at least proportional to your shirt, that is a great guide to reference, especially if you're a Cricut beginner. Yes, and then we have the printable guide, which we absolutely love. So you can kind of you know, flip through here and kind of see that we have kind of broke everything down for you. Um, and you get this with the membership as well. So this is something you can print out. What mat do I use is a big question. Like these are seriously things that all of the people, you know, kind of need to know. So please check this out. You know, our year membership is a great way for you guys to master your crafting, um, you know, with people supporting you. And that's what we love. So we're super excited. We are here um, talking about the spot on the team font. I absolutely love this font, guys. You have the uppercase, you have the lowercase, um, and it looks awesome. So what we're going to do for today's project is we are talking all about, um, you know, a few different things. We're going to set up the front of the shirt where we're using a little baseball um, in the uppercase font to design, you know, the front. And then on the back, we're going to do what, um, you know, kind of like Rachel did on her back, which is put the last name and then put, um, you know, some numbers on there. So it's gonna be really good. We have a baseball tee that we picked up from Hobby Lobby. So if you want the same one, Again, ours was picked up from Hobby Lobby and you can get those 30% off. I believe every single day their shirts are 30% off. So and I think really these nice. ones are only uh, gray, blue, and red. So they, there's not as much uh, choices. There's not many options. A, huh? Not not too many options. Not, too many, not, not nearly as many as the beautiful comfort color shirts. Right, that you love. right, right, right. So just keep that in mind when you go to choose Yeah. Those and if you guys need this font, this font is available for our year members at Makers Gonna Learn. So woohoo. Which but is $20 off. $20 so. off. We love you guys to use the coupon code M-A-K-E. That is the coupon code MAKE at checkout so that you guys are able to take full advantage. And yes, once we cut all this out and finish designing, you guys are going to be blown away by how we are able to format this. So I lost my thing. I'm going to zoom, scroll up. Ta-da! All right, so first things first, I always like to, you know, kind of see what we're working with. And what I wanna do is, we were kind of playing with this before. I'm gonna see what it looks like if we just move this over some and then kind of see what happens. So we've got this right here. Um, and I kind of like this a little bit better. One thing that we wanna be aware of is our width. So being able to move it up a little, um, you know, helps out just a tad bit with that. Um, and I'm going to scale this up to take up a little bit more room um, right there. So it's going to kind of touch more. So just like that, it'll kind of line up. Now, let me share with you guys how I got to this step was because it's something crazy cool. So we're also using a cut file, which is our baseball, and it comes with a little heart. Here is our little cut file. What we need to do is to take a circle, just like so, drag it over. We're going to size it up just like this. I wanted to cover the two pieces in the heart. So where the heart starts on both sides, just like this, size it up just a little bit more. And we are gonna work one side at a time. So I'm gonna size down because I cannot hit both spots perfectly. So you can just see right here, we're gonna cut right like that. And then we can select two layers and slice it out. And Tanner, why could you not just make two circles? That's a great question. You can only slice one, um, you can only slice two layers at a time. So that's a great, great question. So see, you have all these pieces and you're like, what the heck is going on? Um, to our image and this was a little confusing because you have all these different 
um, layers. So you're like, what is going on, right? So it's very confusing and kind of overwhelming. So what I'm going to do is actually show you guys a little bit easier way because it actually leaves it sometimes when you try to take a circle. So I'm going to use a line. So just like so, we're going to undo that slice. And we're going to zoom on in. And we're just going to move the circle out, okay? So we're going to delete it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go under shapes. And I'm going to take a score line. Not a lot of people know you can do this. But you can take this lawn and you can change it from a score lawn to a cut lawn. And this is what I like to do when I want to simplify slicing. So you can go right here, position it right on that edge. Now select both of these layers and you're going to be able to um, need to create another line. So we're going to grab another score line. We're going to turn that score line into a cut line. And now I'm going to drag it right over here and I'm going to move it up. Well, Rachel already went ahead and specified that we are not able to slice two layers at a time. So I'm going to hold both of our lines by selecting shift and selecting them. Um, and now we're going to be able to um, attach those. So they're attached, but now we're not able to slice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm having trouble doing this in an easy way. Becca, I did a heart. I a you heart. you put a heart? Yes. That's a great idea. Yes. Just sliced it right, just it right out. Because the circle would have cut out pieces in my baseball lines. Yeah. And I was like, that's not cool. So people are saying, why can you not contour it? Yeah. Well, if you look at the baseball heart, it's all one layer. So there's, you know, if we contour it, for example, and if you, you know, click on this, it just fills in the heart. So you've got to slice it out. That's about all, all the options layer. you have. Is yeah. Slice, you know. And I so. actually did this exact thing in one of my Pro 2 Ooh. courses, which is fun. I love that. So yeah, you guys need to check out Pro 2 to learn all kinds of brand new things. It just launched last Thursday. So now notice that we're putting the heart here and you may be like, Tanner, I see some orange here, but that will end up being able to contour out. So I'll be able to show you why and how here you in a moment. Up. Apparently we can rotate it as well if we want to get crazy. Ta -da. Getting real close. Oh, and now it's all covered. So now you Looking can take higher. both and press slice. And now you got quite a few layers. One, two, and then three. So that's how it would be the best way. Um, and if you have run into issues, you would just want to take it a few steps at a time. Um, but that's a really great workaround. So now that you have this one, it's all set up so we can go ahead and rotate it around just a little bit. And now we're going to move it up here. Scale it down just a tap. And now we're going to grab that awesome font, which is spot on the team. And we're going to type out vols and we're going to do lowercase or uppercase, excuse me. And then notice when it's small, you're like, I can't see that it has, you know, the lines on it. They are there. So just be patient. We're going to scroll this over, scale it up. And then you can kind of start playing with it. So we're going to do ours maybe like, um, I don't like to do anything more than um, eight inches wide for the whole project. So we're going to do this probably at like, seven we'll do we'll do a little like seven and a quarter also make sure you measure your shirt because if you're using yes. like a two-inch shirt you can certainly do it bigger than seven or yes eight inches. so if you you know want to make sure you are doing the right one come over here check this out you know for ours that we're using today is kind of just a medium so you know for a small to large we're recommending nine to nine and a half um, but you just want to be mindful. I don't like to do too wide and especially with this one being a baseball tee with the two colors. That's why I'm kind of going for a smaller one just because of the two colors. So then you can come down here and play around with it um, and kind of see what both of those would be for width wise. So this will be almost none. So that will work good. And then you can zoom in and we're just going to scroll over and then we can start playing with this a little bit more. 
just like so. Okay. So now we're going to be able to take the, the baseball and bring it over some more, just like that. We can size it down. Perfect. We can twist it if we wanted. And kind of see how we can make that work the best. Cool. So we have that, and I want to move it just a little bit more. Not like the threads to show, so rotate it like that and move it over. Just kind of see what we can do. Galinda said, today I used Design Space for the first time. I'm in trouble now. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun, fun. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. Um, it's going to be truly awesome for you. So you're going to love it. Congratulations. I have to make that just like a tad bit bigger. Okay. I love it. So now what we're thinking about doing is being able to add in the number for the um, team. So we have, you know, a few different ways to do that. We're going to use the lowercase. So we'll just take the lowercase and we'll use the number, um, just the number and we can do like number, you know, four. So this is the, the numbers and we'll see what that looks like for the number mark which looks really cool. So then you can just move it over. I'm gonna zoom out some, because we have quite a bit of things going on on our mat. We just need to move it over here and scale it down for our project. Everything's so large on the mat. We wanted to be able to see everything as we were designing. So now we're gonna take that, make it a little bit smaller. And this would be great if you have any you know, friends um, that you want to support your kids teams and things like that um you know will be really fun so this is what we're thinking for the front so this is again we've got um you know almost nine inches wide and then um you have the uh you know the baseball so selecting both of these you're going to be able to go ahead and weld those together and i am going to undo I selected the baseball on accident. So you're gonna hit shift and then hit shift and then you'll be able to weld that together. So you guys are good in pros. This is all now welded and then you have your baseball. So we'll put the, um, the baseball down and then we'll put our balls number four and be able to line that up like right here with the project and that will look awesome. So that's what we'll be able to do. Um, these two heat transfer vinyls does wonderful. Um, and it's really awesome. So the next up, we're going to be able to do a square. I'm going to zoom out. Here we go. And we have everything kind of lined up right here. So we can just go ahead and delete this one out. And then what we're going to do is we are going to be able to press um, text once again. And we're going to do... Um, your last name for the top of the project, which for this one, Rachel, whose last name should we use? Who has a good one? What do you mean? Who, who, like, Wh whose last name should we put on the f back of this shirt? Oaks. Oh, okay. Oaks. Okay. Oaks it is. I love it. So we're going to do this and we're going to size it up. And then what we're thinking about for this one is I'm probably going to do about nine inches um, on the back as well for the back of the shirt. So you've got the last name here, um, right like this, and then you're going to grab the numbers. What's your favorite two numbers, Becca? O2. O2, what is up? Okay, love it. Well, you kind of, don't you need to do number four because you did number four on the back, on the front. Well, quickly. Oh, well. Mm. At mm. least keep it to get, I'll do number number four on the back. So I welded, welded it, number four I welded. Tough times here, tough times. We so, didn't know about We didn't know, we didn't know. So what this is, is you know, you're just saying like, hey, the shirt is going to be 
about you know nine inches wide you're going to be able to have nine inches to work with on the front about nine inches to work with on the back and then you can see here one thing I also want you to, guys to keep in mind is that you have about eight inches long as well so be sure to measure and let's go ahead and grab our shirt um, before we make any official decisions I kind of walk you want to walk you guys through working with the shirt so here's our shirt this one's cool um, I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can actually see it and then what we're going to do is take our tape measure and be able to say okay you know here's at nine inches we have about three inches down from the top so see what I mean for this one this is a little bit different with these baseball sleeves that's why you know we're capping it kind of at nine inches because we like to start putting it about three inches down from the top so right about here it's gonna be perfect um, and it's really really awesome so yeah that's great for that and then if we flip it over to the back you'll see you have um, you know kind of the same situation going so you're gonna want to double check where you know oaks will end up being and whatnot so that will be again nine inches and then it goes down about eight inches so that'll be perfect for today's project so yay that looks good now once we're you know happy with everything we're going to be able to set up our mat i'll just go ahead and we're going to cut out our black layers first and this may end up taking may take up two mats we'll see we'll see so i'm going to put the shiny side down just like so and Sherry, we bought our baseball tee at Hobby Lobby, and I think they did have like children's versions. I'm yeah, I'm not 100% sure. sure, but um, I know they have some really cute options for kids' shirts. Yes. So it, it, in the very least, you can match up some colors. Right. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this off right here. And now we'll have that ready so we can go ahead and set our material back in design space. And I don't know if you wanted to uh, attach Oaks in number four. I, d I wasn't sure. Yeah, we'll go ahead and... Like, it's totally personal preference. Totally, but we're going to kind of, you know, be pretty mindful. You so might we'll be able to align it first. Attach that. So let's go ahead and click undo. And then what we're going to do is one of our favorite features we were talking about yesterday um, is kind of like aligning this center um, horizontally. So if we... Wait. I get yeah, confused with the center button, y'all. Sometimes I get confused with the center button. Um, so it just scoots it over. And then once it's good and press um, attach, what I get really confused with is all of the centers because I always want to just press center, but that's going to bring everything together. Don't press that. You don't need to use it near as much as you would imagine. So there we go. We're going to click attach. And now we have our three different layers. So we have these three right here. Um, and then you have your little baseball. So we'll press make it. And yay, look, they all fit on one mat, which is going to be a lifesaver for today's project. And then we can press mirror. And then we're going to only need a small little piece for the red. Megan, I'm so glad you feel me when it comes to that. So we'll give a little bit more pressure. I'm so glad that next to uh, it's saying center horse only, it kind of shows a little. It bit does of give a, a great visual example. That is that's very good. For sure, for sure. So now we'll be able to press that flashing cricket button and let's go cut out our black mat. What it's is cutting everyone? Too. It's cutting too. Oh, it's cutting too. So we're just gonna pause this. <laughs> Sometimes I just turn it off because I get really worried. Um, so that was because we were turning mirror on for all of our mats. That will happen. So we're just going to restart our connection and it'll be good to go. Yay. Okay. So we're just going to um, take care of that. And we're going to reconnect to the machine. So by turning it off, turning it back on, it just restarts everything. Did you um, give it more pressure? Um, currently, you're selected an infusible ink transfer sheet. Did you give it more pressure? I did. I did. 
Um, but yes. So woohoo, we're gonna load that back in and we're on the right map now. Yay, thanks for catching that, Rachel. I totally would never have um, noticed. I just happened to glance up. <laughs> so funny. And now we'll press that flashy cricket button. Let's go cut through um, this map and then it'll be good to go. So yay. What questions do we have, friends? Let's see. Tanner, do you have any foil quill videos? I just got Ooh. one and I'm a little lost on what to do with it. So I have probably two or three foil quill videos. I have an unboxing video. I have a first impression video. Um, we don't paper craft too often, so we don't use it terribly much, but Rachel made an amazing project in Pro 2 using the foil quill. So highly recommend you guys check that out to make a great invitation. You guys are going to absolutely love it. It was so, very fun. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, we're just cutting away. We're just cutting away. It's already 22%. Yeah, this is a smooth project, guys. While that is, you know, going through, we're going to preheat it um, and set up our project. So I'm going to turn my keyboard off. And then what we're going to do is set up our project to make sure we have it all aligned. I don't, I just like to preheat the easy press and get it going. Um, so I'm going to preheat it to probably like 315. And, and Les Mama, out. what do you Hello. Uh, do you mean brand of iron on vinyl? Uh, oh. we do like 651 vinyl, and this is not a cricket access font. This is an exclusive font to makers gonna learn only for our yearly members. Yes. And that yearly membership is on sale for 20 bucks off. Please, that is if you guys, yeah, if you all are not a year member, use the coupon code M-A-K-E, that is make it check out. Grab your year membership, guys. It is so good. You're gonna be able to make right along with us, get all your fun projects out um, over like right at 2,000 cut files over 300 awesome fonts you guys are gonna have so many awesome things like our printable guide to use um, and it's a lot a lot of fun so yes as I throw my phone in the floor um, you guys get a lot of resources we love the printable guide this one's so good um, if you guys have not downloaded Pro 2 hold on it's mixed in with my my, my, my iOS guide but Pro 2 is so good 241 pages so detailed, so amazing. You guys need to check it out. And then a free member only resource, if you guys have not downloaded it, is the iOS guide. Um, this is like 60 pages of pure goodness with mastering the iOS app because you guys need to master it. So we love it. But yes, so here you go. And then we're going to take that and put that away. But yeah, it is just cutting away and then we're gonna weed it and get everything ready to go. I love using the Easy Press mats. They're really awesome and they're super fun to use as well. So yay! And Tanner, we had someone asking about a cute Valentine classroom project and we're actually <gasps> making one next week. Yay! So awesome. I cannot wait. Valentine's Day is gonna be here before you know it. And Sherry says, I hope it's easy enough for me to make 24. And if you guys remember, I promised to make Fallon and Beckett's classroom a project for Becca. Um, it was a long story, but we're gonna do that live one day. Um, and there's how many children total? 18? 18 beautiful children. So if you need 24, you're gonna love it. And bless mama, $20 a month or 20 a year. So two different options. You can get a monthly membership with us for $19.99 a month. That gives you access to our cut files, our Facebook group, and some of our printables. But the 20 off is only for the year. The $20 off is only for the year. You can use that coupon code M-A-K-E, and it takes the year membership from $191.88 down to $171.88, so that you're able to get $150 worth of bonus courses. You're able to get our fonts, and you're able to get our commercial license to make money with your machine. So a ton of value added for those year members you pay the least amount of money with the year membership as you'll see on the sales page um, and it's so so good um, so we love it um, and it's gonna be really good so if you're not a member and you love the videos we have on the channel definitely grab it um, if you're on the fence about pro 2 the sale ends tomorrow for $20 off so take advantage and if you did not have the funds to get your summit passport 
while we were um, during the Black Friday promotion, you can grab it now and that ends tomorrow. So be sure to take advantage of those if you haven't already. It's going to be really awesome. And Tammy um, has a good we're question. Excited. Hey she Tammy! Said, do, do you suggest using your home printer to print out all the guides? No. Or would it be cheaper to get them printed at a store? If you have a friend, if you have a school, if you have some type of place to print for free, highly recommend re using those resources. But um, if you, you know, need to use your home printer, it will probably be cheaper depending on how much ink costs. Um, but I would probably just order it. Just say I want the cheapest quality that's colored and you know have that done at like office max or something it'll be worth the the, the hassle or the savings of hassle so it'll be really good and miss Susie, this is the fifth uh thursday of the month so nothing it's through everyone today. off it has yeah yeah, yeah. it's and crazy sweet wes who is headed to tennessee by the way oh, hey. his trucking route awesome. says become a member well worth every penny thanks buddy okay i've lost my true control knife i threw it away or something here it is. It was hidden. It was hidden. Rebecca was ready to throw me one from the other side of the room. Sure, <laughs> she wasn't going to throw it. I'm just giving her a dime. Okay. So Cricut automatically placed this very close to like they're lined up against each other, which is crazy. Um, so that's just a fun fact. So anyway, this is our little vinyl saving. You guys love when I save vinyl. So this is saved. And then we can save from here. I want somebody to be really proud of me for going through this effort of saving vinyl. They all are, Tanner. I hope so. They're all proud. Okay, so I'm just cutting out any vinyl that we're not you know, actually going to use for this project so we can save it. So then I just take it and peel it up so that I don't weed this. And wow, now, <laughs> Rachel, we're saving it. We're saving vinyl one day at a time. Jenny Spears says this is the longest January ever. No, Jenny, it's so much fun. What? What's wrong with it? Are you tired? Oh, what? What's wrong with January? It's been a long, I don't think it's been that fun. It's, it's, it's been a long January. Okay, I mean, I've been I've been on two vacations, so I just feel like it's wow. like. Wow. Cool. I I don't mean that in like a. Wow. I, I, <laughs> I, I just have not. <laughs> so it's been long. I agree, it's been long. Um, you were like, no, it's great. Well, I'm just trying to fill the crowd out today. Everyone else is like, oh yes, Jenny, yes, it is so long. We There's agree. There's literally a thing going around on Facebook that says, does anyone else feel like it's January seventy fourth? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I feel like the year is already flying by, y'all. Like, Tanner, it's, it's gotta still slow down. January. Oh my gosh, I still remember Christmas. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's because, oh my gosh. I'm just saying. Well, Jenny, I'm with you. Uh, I'm, I'm with you too, Jenny. No, he's not. Yes, I am. He's not. I am. Okay, Jenny has a reason, Rachel. She's in pain. That's true, Jenny. I hope that you feel so bad or something like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, anyway. Jenny, Jenny put quotations on, I've been on two vacations. Okay, I didn't mean it. I swear. Oh. I didn't mean it anyway. I just, and Joanne, we found our ink replacements on um, Amazon, Amazon for a relatively good price. Yeah, they're almost half off of what regular price would be. So just look around. We are not going to endorse any because we, again, don't want to, you know, they're not actually, you know, Canon brand or anything. So you just want to be careful. Get a company that you trust. Absolutely. Or if you can Ours find is company. auto shipped to us like every other month, but yeah. we, do, we do not have to change our uh, ink that often. Right. The main thing we use it for, especially the colored printer, is print and cut projects and stuff like that. So now I do have to let you all know you have to be very mindful when you're weeding this project that you don't weed out the wrong piece. So be careful. Can somebody tell me how I'm supposed to separate this number four? I'm gonna have to get my true control off. I'll be able to do it. I'm just saying it's confusing. So anyway, just weeding that out. And then do you weed out the Is it true? This wow, this such as a segue, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, we have someone that said I'm not looking forward to doing taxes. 
Uh, and I was going to ask, <laughs> yes. is it true that you can file taxes as soon as you get your tax returns? That is true. The IRS are ex is accepting your returns, Rachel, and they're really? giving you that money. Oh. To my knowledge. somebody Can somebody confirm that? They're yeah, accepting the returns? Uh, yeah, Becca's already did hers. So, yeah, you are more than welcome to go ahead and do your refund, your returns. Mm, exciting. Now, if you're, you know, if you owe, be sure to have that taken care of by April 15th, I believe is tax day. Um, no one's looking forward to that. I hope to have it, I don't know. Yeah, I hope you don't either, since considerable amounts you've paid in. I'm sure you get some back, I hope. Prayers going up for that. <laughs> Yep. Okay. And remember when I was like, be careful and make sure not to weed the wrong piece. Um, I weeded the wrong piece. And I'm going to explain to you how not to weed the wrong piece. So anyway, this is the piece you're supposed to weed. This is the piece you're supposed to leave. Um, but I, yeah. Just weed the one out of the four and the one out of the, oh, you'll never know. This one? Just weed the whole thing out of there, yeah, and then weed the one in the middle of the four. That way, it, uh, that way your eye, it, like your eye isn't drawn to the mistake. Mm, I see, I see. I mean, you know. Yeah. You'll kind of probably notice. Right, but we'll have variation for you guys. This sure. is your quick fix. Look, just right for, the for the numbers. Just for the numbers. It's fine. We're not gonna make that mistake anymore. Look, it's fine. I blame talking, talking about taxes. Fine. And the letters are really easy to weed out. Look at those guys. Okay. I think this is fun to weed. This I like fun. this one. Because it's just little and it's repetitive. It's, it's just to cool do. to weed out. Always weed the piece that's closest to you. See? Everybody's real scared of that number four up there. We're, we're all praying. You mean this you. one? <laughs> yeah. There's going to be some stuff happening, y'all. There's going to be prayer happening. Make sure you weed the weed the rat one. Um, see, I almost started weeding the wrong one. I'm really there's two of us. I'm really having to get in there. Okay. Aww. He cute. Oh no. Look. Okay, number four. Yes, uh, Marjorie, I love to weed H T V. Weeding vinyl is okay. I don't I don't hate it as bad as I used to. But I love weeding H D. Oh, that was a that was a big exhale tanner. You can do it. Is it surgery? It's surgery. I also wanted to see how long I had go without talking. I, I'm so, I feel like I've my brain's kind of crammed. And okay, I'm, me and Rachel, we've all been in pretty deep meetings all day, so. I just feel like I don't even have energy to. Yeah, we have quite a bit. We've had a lot, quite a bit going on. Susie, such a sweet comment. Guys, if you are doubting getting the membership, don't. So worth it. I love my membership and use it for so much. You will not regret it. Aww, just thank do it. you so much, Susie. We love hearing your all's real testimonials here on live. They motivate me to keep going with the project. <laughs> okay, so number four is taken care of. I do have to true control it off that, and I'm just going to get it out of the way now. Um, I'm just going to get really close here. Okay. Not as bad as I expected. That's fine. Now we're just going to weed it. So... This is going to be so much fun. If you guys are just tuning in, we're working with our um, spot on the team font, which is amazing. Bless you, Court. We're just you weeding away. Tiny things. Okay. Ooh, that one went fun. Okay. So we have number four. Probably do the, the inside front. of the S, Tanner. Thank you, Rachel. Anytime. Got a little... I'll go with. Okay, perfect. So just right here. Look Ooh. at this. Look at this. Ta-da. 
Then you can peel this one up. Oh, it's not that noticeable. No, no. See, not now that you took the thing out of the four. If the thing was yeah. in the four, you'd be yeah. like, what? Okay, so this will be on the back, so hold that to the side. We've got our easy press going at 315. I'm going to clean up our scraps real quick so we can have a nice clean work surface. Don't forget you gotta cut out your other layer too. Thank you so much, I totally forgot. Anytime. We're gonna take this right here. We're gonna grab our Paper Studio. We've never really worked on Paper Studio on a lot before, so that'll be fun. We just go cut us a nice little piece. Oh my gosh, I love this comment. Christy said, I was new to all the things and your video and the membership has made me a superstar. Yay! You can become a superstar like our friend, what was the name? What was um, the name? I have no idea. Oh. I don't remember. I'm no sorry. Christy? Oh, well, this this particular comment? Yes, yeah. Christy. Oh, yeah, Christy. Like a past comment. And I was oh, like, no, 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 no. I don't remember. No, no, no. No, Christy, be a rock star like Christy and grab Makers Galore membership for um, our awesome membership. $20 off. Yay! We love it. We love it, love it, love it. Um, super awesome. And it's really a lot of fun. So we're cutting out the baseball. This is, you're in your home stretch. Again, guys, we've got the Easy Press heated up. I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to grab the Easy Press mat. And Tammy Paper Studio is from Hobby Lobby, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Is um, it like their brand? It is. It's like their generic, but okay. it's it works really well. So I'm, I've used it on quite a few, few projects that I've been in a pinch with lately that I needed to get. So a lot of fun. So we're gonna just preheat this shirt and just get any wrinkles out, any moisture, anything like that. Just warm it up, just like so. And now we'll be able to sit this to the side. We're gonna weed this out real quick. Oh, this is small, this is perfect. Let us know what you guys have going on this week. Let us know how you all are doing, anything we can help you with. Let us know. Ta -da. And Tammy, I, I don't know how much it costs. I doubt it's cheaper than buying from Bolt from 651. The prices there are just really competitive. I mean, you can buy, we usually buy ours in like five yard rolls. Yard yeah, rolls. I like Paper Studio for when I need a color like that day. Yeah, in a pinch you can go. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Becca, do you know like the sale? price comparison yeah. for a Paper Studio if it's on sale versus you know six fifty one or anything? I'm pretty sure that a roll of like twelve by seventy two. Twelve by seventy two. It's thirty four ninety nine. It's thirty four ninety nine. And then you get it super so like seventeen. Okay. Price, okay, cool. That's about what you'll pay for five yards. Yeah. So all all vinyls in a pretty pinch, comparable. It's so good to go. Yes. 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 So okay. We're going to kind of lay this out here and I'm going to very intentionally kind of set up our design and see what happens just so that we can kind of see where to lay everything out. And guys, there's a couple confusing comments. Uh, the vinyl's not for Michaels. It's from Hobby Lobby. In the pin pin tool, I uh, gave the link to Miss Linda. It is not from Amazon. It's from 651 vinyl. Great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're going to place this here. And then I'm gonna put this on top because this is how I wanna do the layers. So I'm putting, usually I do the largest layer first, but today's project, I wanna do the smallest layer first. And then I'm gonna kinda do to do, position this like so. And I'm not formatting it on the shirt yet. I'm just lining these up to be like so. And bless mama, we do not have anything uh, Dr. Seuss related it's you know trademarks and things like that we have but to be you can use with, a but font use... okay Tammy, sure. oh no, oh no. I'm, I'm so sorry I was just gonna oh say, i thought listen, listen. i thought you were going in there go no, ahead i'm so sorry but guys, <laughs> that's not all you can, you can totally use one of our over 250 fonts to customize any quote from dr seuss you'd like i'm done <laughs> that's so funny i apologize rachel you're fine i'm so sorry okay but what we have right here is we're going to take our tape measure. We're going to move down about three inches, just like so. So we're going to make sure, you know, you have about three inches down. So I'm going to move this down a little bit more. Then right about here, just like so. You can kind of see where the three inch mark is. It would be like right about here. So that's really good. 
and then now that you have this positioned you're going to be able to peel up your first your top layer your second layer and this is going to leave our red please do not heat them all at once please that will do not, not go well right so we're going to take this and the timer was at 40 seconds so we're just going to turn it off at um, 10 seconds left oh my gosh isabel says i have to watch grace tonight i'm going to cry over dr karen being on does she Karev? mean Karev? okay um, oh, i meant Karev. i haven't watched last week rachel you didn't watch the cross never over did. station 19 never Tara, did. I told you oh it was good oh uh, what see? nobody's uh, you have to watch rachel hasn't told me first. anything that happened so i'm not telling you what happens you have to watch it i'm not one of those people i'm totally one of those people i know okay so you peel it up then we're going to position this back down right here just like so put it down we're going to take this piece cover up our baseball once again no naked no. HTV. no 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 so then we're going to do 30 seconds again at 315. Yes! Oh my gosh, I just got my Cricut and within days I had to put vinyl on all the t-shirts I own. Me too! I totally understand. That is so awesome. Be sure to check out our membership, makersgonnalearn.com slash join um, for over 2,000 new cut files. We love all of our artwork that come out on Thursdays. This is the fifth Thursday of the month. So, um, you know, there is not um, any new releases. A lot of people were talking about burning vinyl earlier. Do you guys see these bubbles? That means like your heat transfer vinyl is doing its trick and it's adhered to your project. So, um, that always is a great indicator. And just like, so you have that down, super awesome job. Um, super easy with the two layers. You're going to now be able to flip it around back just like so lay it out i love using the larger easy press mat um, i recommend everyone having a nine by non easy press but i recommend even with a smaller easy press to have that larger easy press mat mm -hmm. so now one tip i have for aligning on the back you guys can see there's a faint red line here that's the neck make sure it's below that just because of the easy press it can you know cause problems so you know a little quad a ways under that and right about here look it's like made for this area on the shirt so super awesome and kind of line it up like two fingers on each side perfect pick this up and hear it for 30 seconds and i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna do this in two pieces and tanner our friend kai who uh put vinyl on every shirt they yes have, said as soon as i get enough saved up i'm gonna get the membership it may be a couple of months but i will get there and yes totally totally for choosing to save up for that because Please. it is a commitment just like your machine but saving up for that yearly mm -hmm. will get you the cheapest price and the most of our resources so that's amazing yes and marianne my mom was the same as soon as the um, Izzy and George left the show. She stopped watching. But let me tell you, for someone that entered in with the mindset of knowing that the characters were gone, um, it's not has been as bad on me. Um, but yeah, t I totally understand. I, there's been times when people leave that I'm like, I will stop watching. Like example, Karev. I'm like, I don't know if I can keep going. But I love Karev. We've been... Well, see, I said that about Sloan and about <laughs> Derek, Derek, and everybody else, and, <laughs> and just everybody else. Everybody. George O'Malley was my favorite, but I think they should have stopped after twelve. I think it's went downhill. Yeah, yeah. Me and Rachel usually wise. update our each other on the show. And yeah. <laughs> just what what did you think? Because I usually watch mine on Friday nights. Yeah. Do you watch it like? As it airs, I do. Yeah, that's that's, <gasps> that's probably fun. the only reason I have cable is to watch Riverdale and. Um, oh, forgot about River Riverdale. Yeah, that show definitely scared me last summer. Yes, yeah, same. Too I can't, much for me. Can't disagree. <laughs> oh, I love it, Mom. Um, so well, I, I love y'all. Yay! Well, look at this, guys. You're gonna be able to make really awesome projects. Look at the back. Look at the front. This is so adorable. You're gonna be able to have an awesome little sporting tee. It's going to be awesome. So we're so excited for you. Um, and we're just really excited to see what you guys are going to be able to do with these amazing cut files. Again, we were able to slice out the heart that was there, add in the font, add in the numbers. I love having the numbers on the front and then on the back. So that is a lot, a lot of fun um, for each of you. So Rachel, how many friends was able to hang out with us today in craft? About 200. I love it. Well, guys, thank you so much. We have got to go quickly eat lunch and then we've got to get back into 
all of our awesome meetings. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you um, for everyone hanging out. Again, tomorrow's the last day of the sale. So if you need any of our products that we have been talking about, Pro 1 and Pro 2 bundle is $50 off, no coupon code needed. You can master 40 advanced level projects. Definitely check that out. You need it. Um, we cannot wait for you guys to take it. Um, and we're super, super pumped up. So it is going to be a lot of fun. And if you are on the edge about joining the membership, you're like, I don't know, $20 off ends tomorrow. Use that coupon code MAKE at checkout. So we're super excited and I hope you all have an amazing day. Are there any last minute questions? Nope. You seem to have covered it all. Yay. Well, thank you guys. And we'll see you back here real soon. Bye friends.